G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be hopping on tier maker and we're going to be ranking teams from love to hate for 2021. I decided why not today let's do an updated version. I've done this video maybe about two or maybe three times already on the channel so yeah I'm going to be making an updated version because uh, I haven't done it for a while and some teams would have switched to positions uh, So yeah, we'll hop straight into it. Okay, so here we are on the tier maker We have love like all right dislike and then just hate So we've got all the teams here in alphabetical order. So the crows 2021 I don't like them. I don't love them. I don't hate them I'm gonna put them in the middle because they don't really do anything to like make you hate them um, yeah, I'll put them straight in alright because they're an alright team. I don't see them as a team that a lot of people would really hate. So I'm going to put them in alright for now. Brisbane. Brisbane, they're a bit up and down. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I dislike. I'm actually going to put them in, I think... I'm going to put them in alright as well, actually. I don't think they deserve to go in like because like is basically sort of like um, your second favourite team in a way. So, we'll, actually, we'll straight away, we'll put Frio in love, although they can sometimes be deserved to put down in hate because of how much I hate seeing them perform sometimes. Um, we're going to put them in love. Obviously, they are the team that I barrack for. I'm wearing the jumper right now as well. So, I'm going to put them in love. Colton, I think I've got to put him in hate. The past few years have been shocking, especially as a Frio fan. Um, and I know a lot of Colton fans are going to attack me in the comments because of this. But they know, people know that I don't like Colton. And people always give me shit for not liking Colton. But there's like every small thing that I say that isn't positive about Colton is always, always picked up in the comments. So this one will definitely be a huge factor in the comments. So I'm going to put Blues in hate. Just purely because of the past few years and what they have done to the Dockers. I don't really hate their team so much. It's just the past uh, results over the past few years that make me put them in the hate position this year. Um, Collingwood, I'm going to put them in like. A lot of my family go for Collingwood. And if you didn't know this, I used to go for Collingwood before I was a Frio fan. Uh, the first team I went for was the Pies. And then I think I was around five years old when I decided, you know what, why not, let's switch to the Frio Dockers. Bit of a funny story how I did it. Maybe one day on the channel I might have a video saying why I go for the Frio Dockers. That could be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, Collingwood, I'll put them in like. They used to be my favourite team. And yeah, really don't mind the pies at all. So, Essendon, I'm going to put them in dislike. I don't like their fan base. Their team's alright. Um, I'm... Uh, I... I guess I could move him up to here, but I'm going to put him in dislike. And the past few videos I've done on like ranking AFL teams, in my opinion, I've had them pretty low on the standards. So I'm going to keep that low standards up and we're going to put him in dislike. I don't really like them as a team. They're a bit dirty. They're a bit filthy, especially their fans as well. And I know that's going to get picked up in the comments too. Geelong. Now the past few videos on this as well, I've put him in like the bottom few tiers but I well I still don't like the cats I'm gonna be completely honest but I'm gonna put them in all right I think they deserve to go in all right definitely not the like tier because sometimes they really can piss me off and I'm not sure why um, but I'm gonna put them I think in all right they'll join the Lions and the Crows because I don't hate them but I really don't like them sometimes the Suns they do nothing really to make me hate them so I'll I'll put them top end of all right because they're not one of the teams where I would sort of like barrack for every game depending on who they're versing except for the Dockers like the Pies. I'll barrack for them most of the time apart from when they're playing the Dockers. So I'm going to put the Suns in all right because they do nothing really for you, to, for you to hate them because they're just a bit of a weird team. They don't do anything. They're pretty shocking and that's why. Um, yeah, I can put him in all right because they don't really make your team lose in a way. They don't really, yeah, make your team have a negative season. So, GWS, I don't mind GWS. I could put them in like, but once again, I feel like we might have an, another all right team. But I don't really want to do that, but I, I might have to. I'm going to put the Giants in all right just because I don't hate them and I don't like them. So, we'll put them in between. And as we look at the table so far, we've got one in love. 
and it'll be the only team in love for the rest of the video because I'm pretty sure you have to put the team that you barrack for up in the love section. So we got love, like, all right, dislike, and hate. And we've got already five in all right and then just one in the other tiers. So we've got still a lot of teams to get through. The Hawthorne Hawks, they, they really do nothing. They're like the Suns. They, do, they don't do anything. Let's just put them in dislike. Why not? Because of the 2013 granny. But Hawks fans, I don't hate you. I just need to even up the tally. That's the thing. I'm going to put you in front of the Bombers though, for sure. So I reckon it's on the it's on the edge of being at all right and dislike. But I'm just going to put it in dislike for now because we need to even up the tiers a little bit. We can't have another one in all right because then, yeah, look, that's just going to be stacked up with teams. So I'm going to put it top end of dislike. But I really don't mind the Hawks. Uh, the D's. This year, I've, I've started to love the D's. Uh, I wouldn't... Well, not love the D's. I'll say I've started to like the D's. Uh, purely just because, like, how much stuff have they been through over the past 10 years? And them just coming out now. And everyone has been getting on the D's bandwagon uh, over the past few months. So, yeah, good to see the D's finally have some success and it is very deserved, I'd say. Over the past few years, they've had games where they've really struggled and seasons where they've really struggled. So I'm going to put them in like with Collingwood, I reckon. I reckon that's a good place to put them. Um, over the past few videos I've done on this as well, I think I've had the Ds up in that, uh, up in those like top sections. So we have another seven teams to get through. This video is a bit shorter than expected, uh, but North Melbourne... Where, where do I put North Melbourne? Basically, every time I do this, um, whoever finishes bottom of the ladder is sort of like... It's just the Suns in a way. I don't really care about them. But that's for this year. Over the past few years, I have loved North Melbourne. And I was actually... One stage, I think it was around when I was seven years old, I was thinking, I, I really like North Melbourne. So, um... Now though it's a bit ch it's changed a lot because I don't really care about them anymore but I used to really like them for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm going to put them in I'm going to put them in all right I reckon because I know we've got so many teams in there already but I reckon some of these teams are going to um yeah are going to be not in all right I reckon because there are a few teams here that I like and a few teams here that I don't like. So Port Adelaide I'm going to put them in dislike. They don't really do anything, but I don't like many of their fans. Uh, I don't really like their team. They're a bit of a dirty part of Adelaide, I'd say, the power. Um, I'm going to put them in dislike. I think I definitely dislike Essendon more. I reckon I could even move the Bombers maybe down to hate, but I'm going to keep them in dislike just because I've put the Bombers fans through a fair bit over the past few years, as well as the Blues fans. I do apologise. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put the Bombers in dislike, obviously. I'm going to put the Power probably in front of the Hawks or behind. Probably in front, I would say. Because the Hawks are a bit of a nothing team this year. And Port Adelaide, I don't really like them. But once again, like I would barrack for them a fair few times in the year. So, Richmond. Now, you'd think probably for a lot of teams this year. Actually, I have hated the Tigers this year. And that's good to see them finally do shit in a season and the other teams don't need to worry about facing the Tigers in the finals. Every year they make the finals and every year the team stress, they're like, shit, we're facing the Tigers this week. How are we going to do this? They finished 12th. They finished below the Dockers. I don't know how they've done that, but they have. And, it's <laughs> and as much as I sound like a dickhead saying this, it's much deserved. Like you've had, you've had your four years of fame. It's time to get back out of the top eight. Let the top eight actually have a chance of like having some good games instead of just Richmond and winning the premiership. So, gonna put the Tigers in hate. And uh, yeah, four teams left. Saints. I don't mind the Saints. Actually, this year I've started to like the Saints. I'm not sure why though. I've started to like the Saints a lot more than usual, and I'm not sure why. I don't. There's nothing really happened to the Saints that has made me like or dislike them more. It's just a bit of a weird feeling. Um, but yeah, I do like the Saints. I wanna. I do like how they play. Actually, I wanna go to a fair few Saints games next year if we're able to. We should be able to with all the COVID stuff happening at the moment. Uh, it should be all gone by next season. 
because I want to go to some Saints games. I think I've only been to about two or three in my whole life. So it'll be fun seeing the Saints play again, and it'll be quite interesting because I do like them. Uh, I do like their playing style, and I do, and I would like to see them play in real life. The Swans. I'm gonna put them um, here. I've always liked the Sydney Swans, mainly because the club that I played for growing up were the Bloods, so they are also nicknamed the Bloods, so I'm going to put them in like, I've always had a soft spot for the Swans, I also um, also debated whether or not to barrack for them also back in the day, back in the day when I was younger, I really loved every AFL team, but I was debating, I was going for a new team every bloody week, and I feel like that's the case for a lot of other people too. I'm going to put the Swans in like, I've always, like I've never disliked the Swannies, I'm going to put them in like two more teams, we've got the Eagles and the Doggies. The Eagles, you would expect me to put them in hate, just because they're our rivalry teams, and just Say, for example, when we're playing them in the derby this year, the second derby, not the first derby, we won't talk about that one, but when we finally bet them and broke the streak, I absolutely hated their guts in that stream that I did. And I'm going to be honest, I don't hate the Eagles. I hate Andrew Gaff, but that's about it. Um, the rest of the team is all right. But seriously, I don't hate the Eagles that much. But I think just for the culture, we kind of have to put them... I probably hate Colton more, to be honest, than the Eagles, but I'm going to do that, I reckon, because actually, no, I hate Richmond more than the Eagles for sure, so I'm going to do that, going to put them top end of hate, and the last team, we have the Doggies, I reckon I'm going to put them in like, always have a soft spot for the Doggies, and once again, earlier um, in my life, I was debating whether or not to go for the Dogs, had a real soft spot for them back in 2016, but there we have it, if you did enjoy and want more tier makers in the next few weeks, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.